my SMMA will do a little under 30k this month and the purpose of this video is to show you the day-to-day -day roadmap that you need to be doing to hit your first 10k month. I mean what tasks you should be doing, when you should be doing them, and what you should actually focus on. So this is not meant to be an entertaining video, this is to give you the actual value that you need to drop out of college, to retire your parents, and to eventually get a Porsche 911. So let's jump straight into it. So before I cover the daily schedule on what you need to be doing every single day, we need to make it very clear on what's the important things that we need to do to hit our first 10K month. There's so much noise out there. People are telling you to use AI, to go build your website, to focus on service delivery before you even have your first client, and it's all nonsense. I'm literally gonna break this down there is three things, and I'm gonna bold this, there's three things that you need to focus on. This is the only thing you need to focus on. Number one is getting leads. Number two is booking appointments. And number three is closing appointments. This is the only thing that you should be worried about if you actually wanna hit 10K a month. If you are focusing on building your website right now or doing other things like that, you just like to waste time, and if that's the case, then, then so be it. But this is how I hit my first 10K month, is by focusing on these three things. And with that being said, this is how we're going to structure our day-to-day, -day, right? So I, okay, a quick little story for you. When I began my agency, I dropped out of college, and I was looking to, to grow my agency. I bought Iman Godzi's course, and what I thought meant, you know, put me on the track to be successful was to wake up at 5 a.m., right? I used to wake up at 5 a.m., I would meditate, I would journal, and I would waste time watching podcasts and videos for five hours and it felt productive. And here's a little secret for you. It is so much easier to consume content just like this video than it is to go out there and take action. And that's why most people will not see success is because they feel com comfortable and they tell themselves they're productive by watching these types of videos, okay? And what I used to do when I was broke is I had bought Iman Gazi's course and I would wake up at five, I would immediately meditate, I would journal, I would read, and then I would spend three hours actually watching his course. And by the end of all of that, I felt super productive, but the problem is that my bank account wasn't going up, I wasn't getting any leads, I wasn't booking any appointments, and I wasn't closing any appointments, okay? And so it was easy to watch his course, but when I was eventually done watching his course and it was time to take action, I ran into a wall where it felt impossible for me to go out and send a ton of cold DMs or whatever it was that I was doing back then, like cold calling and that type of thing. And that's what you need to face beforehand. Because if you're just gonna consume content and not take action here, it's not gonna work for you even if I gave you everything in my agency, okay? So with that being said, we know that taking action is hard. And so this again should be the only thing that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? It does not matter what time you wake up, it doesn't matter if you meditate if you journal if you played video games last night or what whatever you think impacts your success all you need to focus on is doing these three things okay so i remember when i actually hit my first 10k month this is kind of what i would do i would wake up at around 7 30 in the morning and instead of meditating instead of journaling the first thing that i would do was i would jump out of bed and make a cup of coffee okay now, I say this because this is the only thing that I would do. This is the only thing that I would do. And then I would start working. Now, working is not watching a podcast. It's not reading a book. That's not work. Work is this, okay? And so what I would do is from about 8 o'clock, so 8 a.m. to about 11 a.m., I would focus on getting leads, okay? Now, I wanna, I wanna simplify this, okay? Because a lot of people struggle right here on getting leads, right? And here is the best piece of advice that I could give you is that you need, you need to focus on only one acquisition channel. So you need to focus on one acquisition channel, okay? So this means you're not gonna go out and cold call, cold DM, send emails, that type of nonsense. You're not gonna be doing all of that, okay? And just to give you some clarification here, cold DMs, cold emails, cold calls, 
paid ads, content. These are all acquisition channels that you could be doing, okay? And what I need you to do is I need you to pick one of them, okay? They all work. Like, that's a little secret. I'm, I, I have to break it to you. They all work. Depending on your niche, on your market, where, you know, the people are, chiropractors, dentists, whatever your market is, yeah, maybe more people are on Instagram, right? And so you cold DMs might work better, right? Maybe they are impossible to find on Instagram and cold calls would be better because you could find them on Google Maps. That's not the point. The point is that you need to pick one and master it. When I started, when I was broke and I had finished Iman Ghazi's course, I would go out and cold call, right? But then I would also send cold DMs. And then I also made a, a, a lem list account and I would try cold emailing. And I did all these acquisition channels and I was broke. And now I focus on one and I make 30K a month. So make it make sense, right? You need to only pick one and get really, really good at it because they all do work, okay? So I don't care what acquisition channel you pick, but you need to pick one and the beginning of your day, the second that you make your cup of coffee, whatever it is you got to do to jump out of bed and start working, the minute you start work should be focused on getting leads, okay? There's also a caveat here. When I give myself three hours here to focus on getting leads, it's not me sending five cold DMs and then going and scrolling on TikTok. I mean, this is actual time that we're working. And a good way to set this, I actually don't like just setting a time that we're going to work because your brain will automatically find a way to make the task that you're doing go all the way from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. When you could do your outreach from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. if you didn't set a time actual outcome. So a good way to do this is set a goal is set a, a daily goal, okay? So whether this would be 100 DMs, right? Whether this is, you know, 200 emails, let's say, you know, 150 cold calls, three Instagram reels, right? Whatever it is, this is not gonna, might not take you three hours. Sometimes it might take you more as you scale up. That's not the point. Like the point isn't to say from eight to 11, you're, you're getting, you know, you're sending cold DMs. The point is that you have to hit your daily goal no matter what. And a really good tip that I could give you, this is something that's going to help you actually hit your first 10K month after hitting 3K a month. And then how do you get to 5K, 7K, 10K, right? It's by doing this. You're going to incrementally increase your outreach every week. And by outreach, I mean, again, it could be content, it could be ads, depending on your budget and where your market is, like we talked about. But every single week, what you're going to focus on is getting a little bit better than last week. So and this is the, the key, this is kind of a secret that I used was I would really push the gas pedal because I had goals that I wanted to hit. And sending maybe only 100 cold DMs per day, every single day consistently, maybe it got me to 5k a month. But to get to the next level, right, if you're not progressing, you're actually going backwards because your competitors are trying to scale. And when you're staying at the same level every single day, 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 you're actually getting worse. So every week you could go from making 100 cold calls to 150 cold calls per day the following week, right? And you keep getting more and more and more and it'll come a point where you're not able to increase anymore. Because the work that you're putting in in a day is capped out. And that's when you know that you actually have to hire somebody. That's how you figure it out. Maybe you're confused on when you, ha when you have to hire somebody. It's when you got to the point where you're personally sending 200 cold DMs per day and you can't keep up. And so you need to hire somebody to help you here. And that's how you scale, okay? But again, we're only on the first half of the day. So that's number one what you should be focusing on. And then let's say you eat lunch. And then what I would do is from around 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. is focusing on booking appointments, okay? So what this could be is let's say you, you were sending cold DMs first thing in the morning and you got people that are interested. Now it's time to call your leads, right? So this would be an appointment setter. So you're also going to be the, you know, lead generation specialist. You're going to generate leads and then you're also going to be your appointment setter. And so now you spend the second half, the middle of, of your day, actually calling your leads to book appointments, okay? And then, I mean, just focusing on this for now, if you're not calling your leads, if you're getting people that are interested over DM or people interacting with your content and you're not 
it doesn't only have to be calling, but you need to have a sequence in place that's going to predictably book appointments. And to my knowledge, what's worked for me is calling people, right? That is the easiest way to, to make sure you're booking appointments. It's not by just sending over a Calendly link. And a lot of you might be doing that on your outreach and it feels more comfortable. But if you were to go and call these people instead, you just see an automatic increase in bookings, right? And it sounds harder and it is. And that's the thing. If you want to get ahead of everybody else, you're going to have to do the stuff that's hard, right? This should be hard. Like this is a hard role, right? And so the next half of your day is sales calls. So you see how our entire day, I'm not building a website here. I'm not reading a book. I'm not working on service delivery without even having a client. It's, it's a stupid idea. Um, but you see how we're splitting up our day to getting leads, booking appointments and closing appointments. Okay. Now this is not what your calendar is going to look like every single day. You might have some sales calls in the morning and then you have to get leads midday and then you call your appointments in the afternoon, right? But overall, this should be the general structure of your day if you want to hit your first 10K month. You start off, you get leads, you focus on one acquisition channel, right? This is, this is the summary of your day. And you're setting a daily goal from that one acquisition channel. It's either 100 DMs per day, 100 emails, 100 cold calls, $100 in paid ads, you know, not 100 pieces of content, but 10 pieces of content, whatever it may be. That's what you're focusing on here. And every week you're increasing this because if not, you're going to be regressing, right? Next step, this should pr pretty much be like fine tuned in your head by now is booking these appointments in. So whether it's spending two, three hours calling these leads that are interested and turning them into sales calls, that's what the second half of your day should be. And then ultimately it's getting on these sales calls. And here's what I want to wrap this up with is you're going to have to work a lot. It's, when you start a business, the reason so many agency owners, any online business owner fails is because they have to have, you have the hat of so many roles, right? You're the VA getting the leads. You're the appointments that are calling the leads. You're the closer closing the leads. And then eventually you're the operations guy fulfilling the service for your clients. And so what you'll notice is if you follow this sequence, I, I mean, I guarantee you, you're going to make a ton of money, right? But once you start making money, you're going to have to start delivering, right? And so now you're going to have to block in a certain another section in your day where maybe let's say you have five, six, seven clients. And let's say now you have to spend another three hours a day work is, um, focusing on service delivery. And now you're working a ton of hours per day, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., right? And it's like nobody wants to do this, but it's the reason why their agency sucks. They're not making any money. And it's like, if you're willing to push through this, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the dream that's going to get you to your Porsche 911, right? And I'll give you an outcome that's going to help you get through this on the day to day basis. I'm at the point in my business where getting leads is automated. I'm at the point in my business where booking appointments is automated. I get 30 leads a day. I don't lift a finger. I get four or five, sometimes six, seven sales calls per day. I don't lift a finger. It's just on my calendar. I am still the closer. I'm still closing these appointments until I get to my first 50 K month. But that should show you. It's like, I don't do this anymore, but you can't get to where I'm at without doing this. I put in so much work. It was very, very hard for me. And I almost quit so many times, but when the goal that you have, whether it's retiring your parents, right? There has to be a different motive as to why you want to make money than just to simply make money and buy a Rolex. Cause if that's your goal, I'll tell you right now, you're not going to stick with this. You're not going to stick with your daily DMS. You're not going to stick with calling your leads. You're not going to work 12, 15 hours a day because your goal is so shallow, right? And so if you have a deep desire that you're actually trying to hit, you're going to do this. And when you do this, you're going to make a ton of money and you're going to get to the point in your day where you have too many clients, you have too many DMS to send because you're increasing every week too many leads to call, too many sales calls to handle. And so you start tackling this whole big pie one step at a time, okay? And I'll tell you this alone, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, this alone will get you 10K a month. And you have my pure conviction because this is what I did. Every single day, you wake up, 
make a, or I wake up, make a cup of coffee, start sending cold DMs. That's what I did. Start sending cold DMs. I got to the point where I would send about 250 DMs per day. And I was doing 10K a month, right? A little over when I got to 250 DMs per day. And then I would call my leads, which was very, very hard for me. Uh, I'm not naturally open and, and, and like rejection. I don't really think anybody is, but some people have tougher skin, but I did it anyways, right? And then on the back end, I would take the sales calls. I used to suck at sales calls. And now I've put in hundreds of reps and I'm good because that's just how you get good at things, right? With all of this that I'm showing you. And so the whole point is if you could do this consistently for three months, the chances that you don't have a client is so incredibly low. It's near impossible. If you're getting better every single week, increasing your numbers, maybe changing the, the script that you use or the format that you're doing, right? I would be very careful there. If you're focusing on cold DMs, this is a mistake I made. And then I was like, it doesn't work. And I was saying it doesn't work because I would send 20 a day. And then I tried cold email because I thought it would be easier. It didn't work. And then I tried cold calls because I thought, I thought, oh yeah, this could definitely work. And it didn't work because I was not doing enough. And then when I said, screw it, I'm just going to stick with cold DMs. And I started sending 250 a day. I was bound to be successful. It's not like it happened by accident, right? A lot of people say that you get rich by accident. Or that's what a lot of people think. It's a limiting belief. And it's not true. It's just that I stuck with it and I stuck with one acquisition channel and I did this every single day. And so if you could do this every single day, wake up, get leads, book appointments, close appointments, deliver service, this is how you get to 10K a month. Okay, it's simplified. And I can get more into the scripts and everything else in between here in separate videos. But doing this alone will get you there. And then after that comes the point where bottlenecks come where you have to get out of service delivery. You have to get out of booking appointments and getting leads. And that's for a whole separate video on how you could scale to where I'm at, to that 20 to 30K a month range. But this is the step-by-step -step plan. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this. And that's the whole focus. Is it like, it is simple to do it, right? It's just, you have all this noise from all the YouTube videos you're watching, the courses you're taking, all this nonsense, and it's just keeping you where you're at, which is stuck, not making money, not getting to where you wanna go. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Obviously, this is a different style video than I normally do. This is just raw and uncut and me just giving you as much value as I can. The goal of my channel is to, to help my old self hit his first 10K a month quicker, right? That's what I'm making these videos for. And so if you found this style valuable, which might get less views and that whole type of thing, just click that subscribe button, leave me a comment below that you enjoyed it and it gave you clarity as to what you have to do. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, I'll stop rambling, I'll stop yapping. Thank you so much for watching.